So we will intend to do mapping. So then save and close. So click on OK. Okay, that's fine. So ledger and everything. So and we can query the manage ledger. So manage ledger also. Sorry, manage ledger. We can go for the manage ledger. Manage ledger. Manage time ledger. So here also you can see that yes, time ledger and all this. That's fine. So next, next what we can do is. So let's let us create the manage business unit. So let us go for the manage business unit. I think it is there in the previous class. Nice, good too. Okay, it is there in the previous class. what happens is we need to create the business unit and verify data role generation and assign business unit function function. Okay. So next one is let us create a business unit here. So let us take other names. So let me take another name which is different one. Okay, let me go for the proton underscore HID or let me take business unit one, not HID, business unit. Okay. So here the location. So location is not a mandatory. We can take anyone. If it is Hyderabad is there, then let us see. So somebody if somebody is created, yeah, it is there. Okay, so then common set, we can go for the common set, search it. So here, click on OK. So then save and close. So now ours is proton business unit. Okay, fine. So now assign business unit uh, business functions. Business unit business function. So here so I will assign business unit business function. So I will go to the select and add. Click on apply and go to task. So I will assign proton business unit and then you can save it you can just save it okay so now what happens is uh, so let me so let me select all because so actually our requirement is for a year only but let me select all so we can use for anything so for any kind of uh, offering so we have the different offering we can we can we can go for any kind of function so here yes primary edger US primary. So otherwise what we can do is we go to set US primary. US primary lecture. So US primary lecture. US one click on OK. Okay, US one legend then save save and close. Save and close. Okay, fine. So next what we can do is verify data role generation. Verify data role generation. So verify data role generation for business unit. So we are just verifying data role generation. So for this uh, it will go to the so it will be any question, sir. So which one it will go? It will go to hello. 
Hello. Yeah, yeah. So it will go to which which one? So uh, so we have two two other tools, right? So other than uh, so this one, uh, so uh, yeah, FSM Function Setup Manager. So we have uh, yeah identity other. manager and authorization manage management, right? Authorization manager. Yeah, yeah. APM. We call it the authorization policy manager. APM. We call it as, uh, we call it as APM. And uh, other one is Oracle IT manager OAM. Okay. So in the OAM, what we will do is uh, we will uh, create the user and uh, yeah. then and then we uh, so we will assign uh, so we will assign the roles and everything. And in the APM, we will uh, check the data roles. And in the FSM, we will do the all the setups. Okay. Yes. Yes. Just uh, one minute, sir. Okay, so now, so let me check the data role generation. So okay, so I want to. So now we are in um, we are in uh, receivables. I think so we are in receivables. So uh, receivables, yeah. So actually, so let us uh, do all these setups but again. Okay, I am just uh, clearing this. So let us do that. Okay. So so here, so I need to check the AR template okay so here let me check the receivables template and before that uh, so you need to select the template role template here and uh, click on go so then you will get a uh, receivables template okay. yeah receivables tem template for business unit okay uh, so then what we can do is uh, select this one and click so click on open Usually the roles will be generated. So we have these roles. Okay, for the receivables, we have the so these are all the roles. Okay, account receivables manager, account uh, receivables specialist, and uh, these uh, these these are uh, obsolete because uh, it will go into obsolete. We will remove the bills uh, billing manager, billing specialist, revenue manager. So you will not get in in uh, next version. Okay, the revenue manager and revenue analyst. So these two are the main things. So, okay, revenue uh, receivables manager and receivables specialist. So for the user jobs, okay. So already, so once we uh, assign the business uh, business unit function, so then what happens is, so it will be roles will be generated automatically. Otherwise, so let us um, so generate. So just click on generate. Click on generate. So then it will be generated. Operation completed. Okay. <coughs> okay. So next, what we can do is, so you can check this. You can go to summary and you can check. You can check that. So, so there are so many invalid roles. So let us hope that uh, our role is uh, generated. Okay. So here I can't find it because if you find it, you need to check one by one each thing. So otherwise, what we can do is so let us go to the user and then we can check it. You can check there itself. Okay. So now I can. Uh, so I need to go to the IDM. For the, to go to IDM, you need to, you need to go, you need to uh, uh, query the task like create implementation, create a uh, implementation user. Go to the create implementation user. So using this one, you can go to the, you can go to the IDM, Oracle Identity Manager. So here, what we can do is uh, let us create one uh, user. So rather than giving, uh, so, so taking some others, so let us create one user and then we can go ahead, okay. So here, so administration, so administration, I want to create a user. So just I am giving Proton user, okay. So here, uh, organization so you can you can give the accelerate users and uh, then user login I want uh, proton dot user 
okay so then password i can take the password so i am taking uh, anyhow it will be it will going to change right so oracle 2020 and uh, oracle 2020 2020 okay fine and user type uh, is the kind of a employee employee user okay so it's fine so and i have up i have taken all the manual fields then save it click on save uh, okay fine so so no need of just save it so then roles okay so just i need to give the roles so what are the roles so we we need uh, three roles right so three are the main roles one is employee should be there so employee should be there and uh, second one is so you need to be employee to do all the activities second one is so it security manager so are you practicing uh, kishore did you start it it security manager okay so it security manager yeah security manager it security manager so you can you can go to the it security manager add and third one is you can go for implementation you yes, say implementation consultant implementation consultant okay these three are the mandatory so simply implementation consultant so let me take again so implementation consultant implementation oh why i'm not getting so assign roles so here implementation consultant so start practicing uh, Kishore because uh, here it, it will be good for you uh, and one more thing is uh, getting the access so because so we are uh, we are as we are running the running yeah. Yeah. so let's so click on add okay so now so what we can do is uh, click on assign so now let me assign the roles so we just started the receivers right so um, so let me check that one because our is uh, I had taken the proton. So, uh, so let me check for the protons what are the roles generated. Yeah, oh, so many roles are generated because we had taken so many functions, right? Business functions. So in that I don't need all. So what I can do is I can take uh, receivables related. So receivables related, receivables manager and receivables specialist. Okay. So, so anyhow, so let me take uh, payables related also. Okay. And um, so uh, do we need anything? So uh, financial expenses and uh, okay. So okay, so we can take later. Okay, we can take later because if it will be confusing if we take all at a time. So uh, that's fine. Okay. Now now we are good. Good enough. So let us continue. Because our sees our user is proton dot. So, uh, proton dot user, right? Okay. So password will be changed. I will. Uh, so, so I will check that one. Find out. Okay. So I'm going to sign out uh, all these things. I don't want the I I F and pin I M pin. Then proton user. And here, what I can take is. Uh, okay, so our password is I had taken Oracle or a CLE 2020 and now you can you can change the password anyhow to last password so, so O R A or a CLE 2020 and new password I am taking a cloud C L O U D C L O U D 2020 and uh, C L O U D two zero two zero fine. Then click on submit. Click on submit. So I am taking the password cloud two zero two zero. So let us use. Hope that we will get it for some more time. Fine. So now so let us go to the manage receivable option i will go through quickly because we already did, uh, done it uh, so let me go to the offering and then query it uh, manage receivable system options 
Okay. So here I am going to uh, I am going to uh, create new and uh, here in the data search check the our business unit our business unit report on right. So last time also we had a problem right with this I think. Yeah, I did not come in the LOV. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Not come in the LOV, but uh, we are able to. Yeah, that is a problem. So LOV we are not getting, but if you check it, so you see you are you are able to get. So that was the thing. Okay. So so then so okay. So the split amount I want to split to thousands. So it's not a mandatory and the days in sales I can go for 30 days and uh, I'm application rule set so line first and tax after discount basis so line uh, lines only and we can give the tax so accounting so tax account let me do the tax account here tax account it's not a tax is tax okay so let me call in this way tax okay other tax okay click on okay So then let me go for the rounding account. So we need to be careful while doing the implementation. So here it's like okay, so for the testing it's not a problem. We can do that. We can create the relevant accounts. We can select the relevant accounts. And this is the running rounding account. The rounding account is search. So I can go for the rounding. Rounding search, rounding cross currency. Click on OK. Click on OK. Fine. So next one is uh, relay raise gain account or uh, this one. So let me select the related account. Uh, Kishor, how the quality is? Fine, right? So, twice and uh, screening and everything. Yeah, it is perfect. Yeah, good. Yeah. good. So, gain account, realize it again. Fine. So, then loss account. Let me go for the loss account. Okay, loss, release loss account. So release loss account, okay, fine. Then click on okay. So days per posting cycle, I can go for 30 days. And tax invoicing printing options, uh, then itemized with recap, we can take. And uh, here we need to give the grouping rule. I can take the default grouping rule. And maximum size, so let us take 2 lakhs um, bytes. So for log files levels, we can go for five. So these are standard things. So then uh, let me save it. So cash processing. So here the cash processing also, so we invoices per commit. So let me take uh, so 100 invoices per commit, uh, same thing. So at a time, at a time we can go for the 100 invoices and uh, receipts uh, commit, it's a charge back due date. So I can go for the deposit date. So then save and close. We can go for the save and close. That's fine. What is this charge back due date as uh, Prasad? Yeah, yeah, yeah ch ch charge back. Uh, so okay, let me open this.
So charge back due date is a, it's a kind of a uh, deposit to so the charge back to the customer. So what happens? So here, so whenever you are selling the any kind of a material, so the thing is that so any so you need to you know, so you will sell it uh, 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 and uh, so, so you will get the amount right. Sometimes what happens is you will get the deposit. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, you will get the deposit from the customer side. So that mm -hmm. that 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 that, that, that deposit date due date is the charge back date for that. Okay. Okay. So here main is transaction of types. So let me create the transaction types here. So main is transaction types. So let us create a transaction type for invoice. So here the, this one is uh, the transaction type set. I can go for the common set. Common set, click on OK. And legal entity is uh, ours is uh, ES, ES1 legal entity. ES1 legal entity. And I am taking a proton underscore invoice. And, and here the transaction class is invoice and status is open. Okay, and by default you will get this date by default date. Okay. So generate bills. So if so if, if you want to generate bill, then you can go for you can go for the S. Otherwise no. And here so you can go for the you can create uh, accounts. So okay, based on the business units, so you will get the accounts. You need to create the you need to provide the accounts. So actually here so we are now so we need to query our business unit I think. Proton set. Okay, I'm not getting it. Put on search. Yeah, so I don't know why it is. Sometimes it is we're getting okay. So anyhow, let me type it as proton business unit. Business unit. It's a funny.
sure why are why we are not getting this it yeah, should, okay. should not be right it should not be right so actually yeah. Yeah, yeah ours is us one legal entity right so we have taken the us one legal entity so while creation of this um, yeah can you say start or contains contain okay contains uh, just a proton okay without percentage oh. yeah it has come okay so even So revenue, let me see the revenue account. So you can go for the revenue account. And any other receivable account, we can get it here itself. Yeah, account receivables. Okay, tax account. So I'm going to take the tax account here. So tax, tax account. H. So the tax. Uh, then click on OK. Fine. So then save and close. So in the same way, so let us go to the transaction sources. The content. So let us go for the transaction sources. Transaction sources. So here the source we can go for the manual or, uh, or uh, imported. So imported is uh, so when we are importing the um, uh, transactions or uh, from say so sales are the so uh, when I input interfacing trades or information to AR, then the, the data will be converted to AR, AR invoices. So in that, uh, you need to have the so transaction source as imported and you need to map with the type. So now I'm creating manually. So while uh, working on audit to cash cycle, so then we can go, we can do that, we can create that one. common common set and here the legal entity is uh, yes one legal entity it's not a mandatory but I let us select it so yes one legal entity and name I am taking a proton uh, source so invoice source okay Okay, so then from date, so let me take some first tune like that. So last number, so I can go for the 99, then usually next number will be 100 like this. So standard transaction type, so you can give the, you can map here the transaction type to the transaction source. Okay, then click on OK. So now save on close. So we are done with this one. Then let us go for the auto accounting rules. Auto accounting rules. Sorry. Let us query the auto accounting rules. Okay. Sometimes what happens is if there is any spelling mistakes, then uh, we can't get it. So yeah, manage auto accounting rules here. This one. So then let us create the rules. So we have, so we need to create the rules for uh, revenue, receivables and tax, which, uh, so which are mandatory. Okay. So let me create the uh, rule for support on business unit and account type is, uh, let me go for the uh, receivables. Receivables. And here, uh, 
because I don't because it is better to do the same accounts, right? So okay, so we I think we copied somebody here. Yeah, correct. We copied somebody here. So let me. Uh, you have copied uh, revenue Excel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I copied here. Yeah. So let me select the total business unit and uh, this one is the receivables. Okay, so receivables account. Okay. So then here uh, 101 10. So 101 10 12101 12101 and zero zero zeros. We need to have three zeros. Okay, fine. Zero zero Okay, fine. It's done. Okay, so save. So let us go for uh, one more. Receivables revenue. Okay. Here the company is the revenue one one not one. So then one two one zero four one two one zero four. So then we can go for zero zeros. One two one zero four. One two one zero four. Zero zero. Zero zero zero. Zero 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 zero. Okay. Then create another. Hey, is it saved or not? I don't know. No, it should be once you complete, then 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 it should appear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. So ten, or not one. So ten. One six three five nine six. Six three five nine six. Six three. Oh, six, three. Okay, I'm not getting here like this. Let me select. The query is different. Otherwise, let me query because I know the value, right? But let me query with the value itself. So, 63596. Yeah. Okay. Zeros. So here also zero zeros. So here also I have zero zeros. And done. Okay. We revenue. Okay, we have all the accounts. So tax account, receivables account, revenue account. Fine. Say on close. Good. So it's a limit to address. It's not a mandatory field, but it's kind of optional only. So So this one is we can go for the common set.
Okay, so here let me so take the some 500 main street. So and post the code. I can take 1001. Okay, and save and close. So now let me go for the manage receivable activities. So manage receivable activities. So click on here. So so let me check it. I think it is better to go for advanced and content. So. Proton search and click on OK. So now I'm going I'm creating proton receiver activities. Receivable activities. Okay. So then activity type. So actual type, so let me take uh, unearned discount and any discount because these two are, so we need uh, while creation of the receipt classes, okay, so any discount and unearned discount. So active and this deal account source is not mandatory, okay, so let me, okay, so we, we are in the set, set security area, okay, that's fine. We are in the set chunk. Yeah. yeah, okay, sorry. We are in the set chunk. Okay. So now let me go for the so what I can do is I can select the proton. And here is the description. And I'm going for any discount or any discount. I will create it. So I will go for the any discount. Discount. Okay. Discount here. Okay. Fine. Click on OK. So then save and close. So let us create one more which is uh, an error discount. So proton so receivable activity on earned. So you can go for the unearned discount. So here the discounts on a discount. Yeah, on error. Okay. Click on OK. And here you can see that. Save and close. Okay. So manage uh, receivable activities. So we are able to uh, complete it. And uh, so manage receipt classes and methods okay receipt classes and methods save and close and uh, receipt classes and methods so let us create this one so 
so here proton basic class I think we don't have the bank right so I think uh, we didn't create any bank right so uh, for this business yeah we thought like we will do it uh, afterwards payment and bank bank and payments yeah yeah so actually so we created bank for the AP so now we don't have the bank so let me okay fine so what we can do is let us uh, create a bank so then we'll come back because we need to assign the bank here okay so, so then we'll come back so here so let me go to the setup and maintenance yeah so just uh, one minute please So I want to create a bank here. May is bank. So let us create a bank branches or bank. Click on create. So here the bank, first let us create the bank. There should be bank should be there. So yeah, yeah, manage banks. Okay, it is there. Manage bank. So then we could will create the bank uh, branch and bank account. So here the country. So I can take the because we are working for years, right? United States. So then. Let me search it. Okay. And bank name, what I can take is like I will take Proton. So to query easy BOA, Bank of America. So, and we don't have need bank code, all these things. So then uh, just uh, so if you want you can do the address okay bank address so then 
500 main street so yes i'm taking the one zero one okay you can click on okay fine so then save and close uh, next let us create the click on done uh, then let us go for the bank branches then we can go for bank accounts so bank branches here ours is proton bank p-r-o-t-o-n and branch name so to query easily i am taking proton so proton uh, boa branch okay so others are not a mandatory so then we can we can save it okay so then let us go for the bank account so here the bank account so click on new so here the branch branch you can go for proton and account name so put on checking account and account number one two three four five six seven eight and so i am taking 10 digits and usd and legal entity is a uh, us1 legal entity you can go for the US entry. account type is checking and I am using this one for, for all payroll and receivers all these things okay so now let me go for the cash account just one minute cash account So I am just taking the cash account here. You can go for the cash account, click on OK. Okay, so that is a mandatory kind of account. So other payment document is not necessary for the AR. So controls. So we don't need uh, control security also if the user facility. So let me go, uh, let me provide the business unit because so all the sub are uh, a yeah, business unit specific, right? So let me go for the business unit, provide the business unit, proton business unit. Okay, then uh, we can go for the click on OK. Let us save it. Fine. So now, so now let me go to the So let me go to uh, receipt classes. So main is receipt classes and methods. Click on new, and here so proton. This it does. Okay. Fine. So click on new. So we can create. Just think. Uh, easy. Okay. Not able to get. Yeah. So let me cancel and we can create again because if there is no remittance we can go for standard remittance standard and factor and then we can go for save But here I am, uh, so we need to get uh, the tracer name and everything that I am not getting here. Just 
standard and factoring and here we don't have the information and we can save it once you save so then let us see when yeah okay we can okay fine so here you can use the proton uh, reset class method proton reset method So then uh, let us go for the remittance account. So here proton we need to change it and uh, we can go for the proton account. Yeah, proton BOA branch and everything we can select the account also. We have the account, proton checking account. Fine. So here uh, we need to go for the, the all these things. Remit receipt confirmation, remit factoring. So let us give all the accounts. So let me give the receipt account here. You can go for you can do the receivable account. You can go for the remittance, click on OK and uh, factory. You can go for the factory. Then you can go for the short term debt. Short term debt. And here unapplied receipts. So here unapply, you can go for unapply, APPLID, okay, unapply, this is, and unidentify, so it's not mandatory to select all this because anyhow we have the, it is already created, standard, on my identify here my so on my identify receipt and uh, we have the on account so these are all the mandatory accounts so while creating the receipts on account Okay, on account is it. Fine. So here, uh, okay, so maybe I didn't correct it. Yeah. 
ಅನಕೌಂಟ್ 